now uh, you've been blogging for quite some time and you've got quite a good following for your blogs. So do you have any advice for aspiring uh, racers who follow your blog? You mean advices as making a blog or...? I mean uh, those aspiring to be a racer, a driver. I don't understand your... Uh, because not many drivers relate their experiences. Mm -hmm. So quite a lot of young people who want to become racing drivers they get a lot of inspiration from ah. reading your blogs, your ah, okay. experiences. Yes. Well, basically, it's not really my my goal to inspire people to race. I just uh, it's like a diary kind of thing. Um, but um, no, the cool thing with a blog is that you can update things daily, exactly. And um, it's always complicated to do it as a website and. With a website, I always had to ask somebody to do it because you need to know codes. But now, with a good blog, you can put quite big pictures and do different categories. Yeah, and uh, I like to put a lot of pictures and display gives a quality effect to it. And um, yeah, and also I travel around a lot and have um, a lot of experiences through racing and my private life. Not too much about my private life, but. <laughs> A little bit, you know, and I guess fans want to see that, you know, yes. and uh, they, they like to see what you're up to, and um, yeah, it's, it's very, very helpful. I start to enjoy it more and more and really got into it. Um, what brought about you to do this book? What inspired you? Well, initially it's because it was difficult to update a website regularly, put news, and I just wanted to put news about my racing results and all this stuff. And basically, I realized the blog thing is not only about this, you can put whatever you want in it. And uh, I realized my world is quite big uh, in terms of versatility and uh, yeah, it's quite colorful. So I thought, ah, bit by bit, I put a bit of this, a bit of, it, of that. And uh, yes, it was, a, it was an advice from my the guy who designs my website okay. and he told me yeah, why don't you do a blog to put your news it's easier simple and then I started like this now I understand that you've raced on the continent and now you're racing in Asia and can you tell me was it difficult for you to adapt from racing on the European continent to Asia is it very much different? No, it's not a big difference. You know, in the end, it's, it's the same concept, it's the same things. Uh, well, the difficult thing is probably the first year when you don't know the circuits when I arrived in Japan, but you have testing and you, you can learn it beforehand. So it, it was not too difficult. You know, the teams treat really, you really well and help you a lot, so you have time to adapt. Um, how about communication? Yeah, it depends the teams. I've been been pretty lucky. My first team was Nakajima, and the engineer was speaking really good English. And here in Tom's as well, um, from the team boss to the engineer, and some mechanics speak good English, so it's quite good. As I don't speak Japanese, so it's quite handful. Um, how about the car? Are you using the Lexus, the Soro, the SC430? Mm -hmm. um, are you happy with its performance, with the setup? It's been very good this year. The first three races were really good. I mean, if you check the performance, I think we were more or less the best car. A bit unlucky the first race, but um, until we came here and uh, today we had some problems. I think we tried some new direction to develop the car as we don't have much testing. And uh, it was quite difficult to control the car today and so the result was not great. Um, we still have tomorrow to yes. get into the points and also I mean we have 60 kilos of the car which uh, is difficult to handle when the conditions are difficult. If the conditions are good you can get away with it, not perfectly, but today I mean, it made everything be worse too, so quite difficult. Um, okay. Talking about the additional 60 kilos, um, do, you, do you see it as a challenge? to make you drive better, to strive harder? Well, you always drive as good as you can, yes. so it's uh, it's not a challenge, you know. It's, the challenge is always there. So, um, 
On behalf of Traffic, we would like to thank you very much for sharing your experiences and give, sharing your thoughts with us. And thank you very much. All the best for tomorrow. Good thank luck. you. Thank you.